So we're here at the hangar. Got a lot of questions and interest in my plane. So I'm gonna do a little walk around. This thing's uh, 40, 40 years old this year. 1981. This has quite a few modifications to it. But uh, this, uh, construction is pretty typical for a Quicksilver. Single surface wing. It's a background material, so essentially sailboat sail. These particular ones are really well taken care of. The planes hasn't seen a single day or night outside of it, outside of an enclosed hangar. So they are in great condition. I'm still going to have them tested, but that's it. They're pretty simple. Two main bars, a bunch of compression struts here. It's a mouthful. And then these wings, they're actual pockets. You can see there's these ribs that come in and they form the airfoil shape. And there's no bottom surface, it's a single surface wing. Lots of lift, but lots of drag. So, slow is the name of the game with this guy. Nice slow, low cruising flights. The wire brace airplane. So all the way to this aircraft is transferred through these these wires here. These are coated, plastic coated steel wire. There's four up front on the bottom, four up top on the bottom, four up top in the front. Same thing with the back, and then there's a couple extra ones. Down from this lower corner here. Let me get up with that one. Pilot seat, I'll show you that in a minute. There's also no bike control stick, this is the weight shift. Um, so that basically comes down to I'm on a, a swing set seat with some safety gear on it. I'll show you how that works. Got my helmet there. Helmet is hiding this. this is my elevator trim lever. One of the modifications done to my airplane is the elevator trim. Uh, up and downs controlled more like a paramotor where you've got your throttle, your throttle is going to bring you up and you maintain a more or less level attitude. But uh, if I want to get a little bit faster, much like a speed bar. I can push this lever and it runs this series of cables down to this homemade piece of equipment in the back. And that will raise my tail and lower my nose, allowing me to get a little bit more speed without climbing an altitude. Also be useful for landing. The motor is out of a snowmobile, 1977 Arctic Cat. Arctic start. We'll crank her over here in a minute. Rather unique airspeed indicator. It's homemade by the original owner. See above that one and below this one, and you're about you're about good. Just works on air pressure hitting this paddle. That's a 51 inch wooden Tennessee prop. A B belt, B belt reduction. Control here, this is your rudder. And this will run a series of cables. That one goes there, there's another one that goes the other side. Comes around. Goes into there. On here goes through this one. Comes down, attaches the edges of the seat there. So cool. yeah, just right, right in here. And basically I'll just put the seat down. And then we have here we got a couple. So, 
behind my legs. These shoulders go straight too. these lines go up so if I, I take this leg and this arm I give them push myself over this line gets pulled goes back to right there and it follows my direction if I move to the other side it follows me that way it's kind of like your old three channel you could more like a you know like a two channel plane you got your up or down in your rudder and that's going to work with the dihedral which is this kind of upward upward tilt to the wings to initiate turns so if I want to make a turn to the left I just go ahead and look left clear left kick over left the plane will tilt and over here I've got a throttle much like a motorcycle throttle Open that shot. That's all she is to her. I can help if I get real crunch up into my seat real close like this. Pushes my weight forward. And the nose will come down slightly. Same thing if I kick myself far back or push myself away at the bar. It'll uh, raise the nose slightly. Bad. The other thing is electric start. It's easy enough for me. An option. Good. So can yank this. I'll just put this center. Make sure my throttle is open. Just, a, just a touch. Smack this button. <laughs> my bird. Some cool flying videos this year over. Thank you for hanging in there. Looking forward to seeing more. But it's uh, pay a good homage to a plane that has got some history to my family and, and just history of aviation in general. A living dinosaur right here guys. Stay tuned.